Okay, this is part two. I was interrupted, so ikutuno lang natin. We'll just dissolve, completely dissolve yung ating phase B ingredients, and then we'll add in our phase A. Well blended na yung ating phase A. Ito medyo mali yung Tagalog. Tutunawin. Hindi itutunaw. Yeah, and almost uh, dissolve na yung mga first uh, waxes natin. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our, blend in our pigment to it. So, ito yung difference na uh, kapag meron kang colorant, kailangan mo kasing unahing i-blend yung ating colors bago natin i-add yung iba pang ingredients. So, I'm just making sure na natunaw na lahat ng waxes natin before I proceed sa next step. Let me just check the temperature. Basically now, hindi naman importante yung temperature natin. So, bali magkakaroon ka ng dalawang um, two batches of video kasi naputol yung kanilang video. So, hahagiin ko na lang yung video sa dalawa. So, ito na. Okay na siya. All you have to do is to combine. No? Ilagay mo lang yung colorant mo doon sa face B. Kailangan mo siyang i-knead sa gilid para matunaw or mag-disperse yung iyong pigments all over face B. So, um, this is an important part ng um, process. Yan. So, dapat wala ng mga powders na buo-buo sa ilalim niyan, ha? Okay, so, otherwise, you'll have, uh, you'll end up with a uh, pangit na cream na may mga buo-buong uh, minerals doon sa cream mo. So, you need to discourse it properly before proceeding to the next uh, process, next method, no? Next method will be, we will um, reach, uh, we'll try to reach uh, the temperature 80 degrees Celsius before we will start adding the next, in, uh, next phase. So basically, ito yung ating, habang nandyan siya, ito yung ating uh, liquid part on face C. Tutunawin ko muna yung powders natin sa face C. Yeah, new preservation system and also the, um, yung gluconolactone. So you're supposed to also... Because it's still warm, ano, tanggalin ko muna siya because we're supposed to also warm. Dapat sabay eh. Iwa-warm mo din yung iyong uh, lip face C habang naka-warm din yung iyong A and B. But because medyo mataas na yung temperature nitong ating face A and B, 93. So, okay lang while I'm warming this. Bago pag parehas na siyang warmed at 70 degrees Celsius, Sabay. So, dapat yung stove mo, dalawa yung uh, burner. So, you may purchase a two-burner stove para sabay kang nagwa-warm. Kasi dapat parehas siya ng temperature. So, because iisa yung nandito sa table ko na warmer, I, I still have another warmer there. I'm just gonna do the... Once ito mag-warm na, I'll go ahead and, and warm this here again. Uh, I'll let you see it, of course. So, habang inintay natin siya, go ahead and knead your colorant on the side para mawala yung bubo. So, yan. Binalik ko na muna to. Because I think, um, yan, iwa-warm natin siya. Ito, warm na yung ating faces. So, dapat sabay, ano? As I said, kanina dapat sabay sila ng warming. So, I'll go ahead and do this na. Umadalo yung ating container kasi hindi flat. So we'll wait for this na tumaas yung temperature up to at least 70 degrees Celsius bago ko siya tanggalin 
from warming at bago ako gumamit ng uh, homogenizer or stick blender. So, kung manonotice mo, parehas na siya ng paggawa ng yung night cream, di ba? Okay. Ang uh, difference lang is that kailangan natin i-blend muna yung ating colorant. If in case you would like to have some colorants. Uh, ganun din, because kahit walang colorant, because meron tayong powdered mineral pigment, which is the zinc oxide at titanium dioxide, kailangan pa rin natin gawin itong process na to. No? I-disperse muna natin yung powders dun sa ating uh, face B. Let me check the temperature. Okay. Right now it's on 53. No, bar. It's uh, basically it's you know, burning, almost not burning, but uh, na siya. Pero since malapot, medyo mahirap kung makita yung tamang temperature niya. Okay. It says 54, but it's already. Um, boiling a little. So let's just wait for a little bit before natin tanggalin sa uh, warming niya. So hindi ko alam kung ano yung uh, warming vehicle na gagamitin mo. Pero you can use a big, uh, kung wala kang uh, homogenizer machine, no? homogenizing machine, dapat meron ka stove na, na kaya mag, uh, na malaki Para, and then use a stainless, hindi pwede aluminyo. It has to be stainless uh, pot, no? O kaya ceramic pot. So, basically, walang napakalaking ceramic pot. We can only purchase um, Okay, so I think, yeah, we can go ahead and um, use our emoji, a stick blender muna to blend, no? Okay, let's blend it. Again. This is an important part kasi the blending. So that yung cream natin, hindi... Um, lumpy or maaligasgas. So this is the perfect um, the perfect color that I want. I just don't know kung ano yung color na gusto mo. So let me know ano yung color na gusto mo para yan ang ipipigay ko sa yung blend. Ito kasi parang the uh, healthy peach. Check the temperature now. Yeah, it's reaching 60 na. So, ah! ang ganda ng color niya. Perfect.
check the temperature before I turn it off. Yeah, still on 16. Medyo mahina ang kanyang uh, temperature. I want to make it 70 before I drop this, you know, turn it off. Para hindi magsa-separate yung ating mixture. Dapat tama yung temperature natin. a gel consistency na cream. So, um, ito yung uso ngayon na medyo jelly. Cre uh, creamy and yet jelly consistency. Okay, so, let's check again yung ating temperature. Okay. So, um, we'll turn this off now. And then, ilagay na natin sa baba. I'll push this aside muna para we'll have a good um, space. No? So let's push, push this aside. Nothing warmer. Okay, and let's um, do this again. And now, we'll um, go ahead and we'll go ahead and Steer in, ilalagay na natin yung ating face these one by one while mixing. No? So, uh, let me just put this aside. Okay. So, ilagay natin yung face D ingredients natin while mixing. Importante, you're mixing it properly. No? Para walang separation na mangyayari. Because uh, ingredients could separate on, on you kapag hindi tama yung iyong missing. Okay, next. Basta sunod-sunodin mo lang yung mga nakalist dun sa ating ingredients. Okay, and uh, yung pagka pagkakalagay, ang pinakahuli huli lang palagi will be the fragrance and the um, preservation, the preservatives. Okay, but the rest, sunod-sunod lang according sa pagkaka makikita mo sa formula dun sa table number 2. Lagi namang ganon, when you're creating a cream, palaging nasa huli yung um, fragrance and preservation. Laging nasa huli yan. Yan, ito na yung, yung ating fragrance. So, it's either you use uh, essential oil or fragrance or some. Ayaw nila ng fragrance. Walang fragrance yung product. But, uh, mas maganda kung may fragrance kasi pang hatak din, no? That will be your, ano. Of course, pag masyadong marami, masyadong pricey yung product mo. And you don't want to do that. So, okay. Now, let's blend. Importante na i-blend natin maigi yung product para walang maigi walang separation. If you don't have a homogenizer machine, you will need a big 
blender, no? Stick blender. Uh, but basically, ang creams naman, ang face creams, uh, maliit lang yung uh, weight, diba? Mga 10 grams to probably 15 grams, depende sa packaging mo. So, most likely, kung kailangan mo na uh, 20 kilogram, doable naman yan sa ordinary uh, stick blender. Okay, so this should be good. Let's um, dissipate the bubbles kasi nagkaroon ng bubbles because of the stick blending. Kasi medyo maliit lang yung batch natin. Para pino, kailangan mong kaluin, mawawala yung mga bubbles na yun. Putok yung mag magdidissipate yung mga bubbles. While you're, see those? Parang magaspang pero bubbles yun eh. Yung mga yun, puputok yun. As you uh, uh, manual steer, yung malalaking bubbles na pumasok while you are doing the stick blending. Yeah. And then you'll have a uh, smooth cream kapag wala na yung mga bubbles na Alright, so there you go. That's how simple it is to create an SPF cream, a gel type SPF cream. This has got SPF um, 30 which is enough for the whole uh, day of protection. Meron pa, ang dami pang mga parang uh, baho-baho, yun, yung lumpy. Uh, this is the air. No? So, kailangan mo lang siyang haluin hanggang maging smooth. Ayan. So, kailangan hinahalo siya hanggang mag smooth, smoothen yung texture na wala na yung mga uh, mukhang mga bob, yung mga bubbles na yun. Okay, so let's try it. Dito ako kukuha. Wait ako sa yung texture mo. So, ayan siya. It's like um, a jelly consistency. Yeah. So, when you apply it, smoothed white sa dito. Ano po yan? Supply natin siya. So, smooth application. Ayan. And then, it will give you a, a nice base. Um, pino. Ayan. Pino siya. And, um, tinan mo yung kaibahan. Mas magiging mas pino yung skin mo dito kaysa dito sa kabila. Okay. Alright. And yet, hindi siya sobrang puti sa skin mo. It'll also give you a glossy finish. Uh, yung skin nung gagamit. Uh, glossy. A little bit glossy. Alright. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.